Psalm 91, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Adonai, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the destructive pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His truth will be your shield and buckler. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Only with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling habitation, there will no evil befall you, neither will any plague come near your dwelling. For he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They will bear you up in the palms of their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. This version is the One New Man Bible. Revealing Jewish roots and power. The man that did this is named Bob Morford. And he, he was in Israel for seven years. Um, doing some studying with rabbi, rabbinical Hebrew scholars. And he decided, um, for a couple of reasons, to use the Y apostrophe for Yeshua right there. Um, he doesn't use the E or the A. And it is the YA because the Father's name is in the Son's name. But he chose not to use it for a couple of reasons. But if you see the spelling Y-E, know this. It was, the scholarly work was changed so that the rabbis who do not want Yeshua to be Messiah, um, that's one way to hide it. So the Y-E is like the, a rabbi that hates Yeshua spitting his name, Yeshua. It's Yeshua. The Father's name is in the Son's name. Some people say Yahshua, Y-A-S-H-U-A. Some say Yahushua, um, like Yahweh, Yahweh. Somehow the natives pronounce it like that. So his name is Yeshua. The Father's name is in the Son's name. And I love saying Yeshua. Not Yeshua, Yahshua, just like Joshua. Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, he is our refuge, our fortress, our God. In him we will trust. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. Are you under his wings? Does he count you as one of his own? Are you sure? Are you sure? If you're not, find someone that you know that, that knows how to tell you the story, an amazing love story of how a God separated from his people made a way for them to be reconciled. There are requirements. It is a free gift, but there are requirements. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You don't you don't get to come in just any way. If you want to be a part of the fold, the sheepfold of Yeshua, if you want to be a part of the kingdom, if you want to experience the kingdom on this earth while the while the world is crumbling and those things that are not of the kingdom of Yahweh are crumbling, there's only one safe place to be and that's going to be in the ark. And that's going to be with Yahweh's people. If you are not sure that you belong to Yeshua Jesus, if you have not ever given your life to him, if you have not ever surrendered, confessed your sin, 
repented, asked for forgiveness, been washed, and then water baptized. Consider the time, consider the season, consider the fact that the book is telling the truth. I hope you find him. Shalom. Nuatohiada, Irini, peace. It's actually Irini. Peace. Those are four words for peace. I have one more. I haven't learned it quite yet. <laughs> A little more practice. Shalom. You are loved.